Welcome back to the channel. I'm Alexis, and today we're going to talk about a concept called avoidant transphobia. And what is avoidant transphobia? It's that thing you experience as a trans person when the person, usually like, you know, you're getting food or you're at a store or whatever, people, rather than be directly transphobic to you, they just kind of ignore you and do the absolute bare minimum. So we're going to talk about that and how to deal with it. Avoidant transphobia. It's, uh, it's a weird topic because it's, it's not the kind of thing that people really think of when they think of transphobia. You're used to like the in-your-face, the misgendering, people being mean to you. But in a lot of ways, the, the, the biggest harm someone can do is just to pretend like you don't exist. Because what they're really saying in those instances is you don't exist to them. You know, you don't deserve their time. You're not worthy of sharing the same space with them. And that is just as cruel, if not, in my opinion, worse. And unfortunately, there's only, there's only so much you can do about it. Um, because if you directly engage, you're just inviting transphobic abuse. And in, for a lot of people, it's like if you choose to engage with them and essentially start that conversation, they view it as picking a fight. And they're going to, you know, go into defense mode. And <laughs> with a transphobe, that's never fun. So since engaging is not the wisest of choices, what is? And the answer is right there in the name. Avoid. Now, obviously, you can't directly avoid avoiding transphobia because, you know, a person has to be avoiding you. But when you encounter that stuff, just let it be. Um, it's one of those things where it's like, you're not going to gain anything. Uh, you know, if you call someone out, you know, it, it's seen as a challenge. And so instead, if you just walk away and then they go on the attack, it really makes them look like the asshole. I mean, transphobia by itself makes someone look like an asshole, but that also depends on the crowd. When you're dealing with, you know, someone being shouted at as they're walking away, it sends a very clear message to kind of the entire social situation that, hey, this person's being aggressive and theoretically for no reason. Um, yeah, this is very much one of those pick your battle moments. And uh, this is not a battle that's worth having. If a person has decided they'd rather avoid you and pretend you don't exist, essentially thank them for not being more of an asshole. I'm not saying actually thank them. I mean, come on. But be aware that they're effectively doing you a favor even if they're not intending on it, because as we've all seen in countless videos, not just stuff I've done, but you know, all over the internet, things can go real bad real fast. And in a lot of those instances, it's just not worth it. So, you know, take, take the advice from the name and avoid the situation as best you can. So next week's video is going to be the return of Ask a Trans Woman. Uh, we're not doing a specific topic. I just want you know, all to drop your questions in the comments below. We've had a lot of new people lately uh, subscribe, which I deeply appreciate. And if you are not one of those new people, you're just new to the channel, or maybe you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and uh, click that little that subscribe button, you know, and like the video while you're at it. I'd really appreciate it. It's helping us grow. So... Until next time, friends, have courage and be kind, especially to yourself.